Just woke up, slept in a little bit. It's nine in the morning here on the farm. Fifth day is spring. We have gotten some plowing done around. We'll walk outside. Well, before we walk outside, you know what you have to do every morning. You gotta get your cup of joe. Gotta get your cup of coffee. Beautiful views out here, though. Oh, I love... Haven't gotten to take the pool for a uh, swim yet. It's been too cold still, but... Got the coffee in the mug, in the big thermos. Let's get the truck. We, uh, we got to plow up field 12 that we own. And all of this, you'll see in just a second, has been plowed over here. All right, so if you look right out there past the barn, you'll see that myself and uh, Dad, Dad did a lot of this for us while we were working on some stuff, but um, got all this field plowed up, completely done and plowed up, ready to go. We have to go over and plow field 12, though, so we're going to hop in the truck, head that way, and uh, get the plow to moving this morning. That's the plan anyways. We also need to get uh, the planter prepared and ready. Oh, we need to feed the dog here. What's up, dog? How you doing? Come eat. Come eat. There you go. So we'll hop in the truck and uh, head on over there. And hopefully we'll get that knocked out today. We'll see how things go. But we'll head down the lane and uh, start out the morning. Let's get to work. Right here's the field, and right here's the tractor. So we'll just pull right off under here under the shade so our truck doesn't get hot, even though it's cool out. It's only 44 degrees right now, this morning. Get this uh, baby fired up. Check up the implement, make sure it's looking good. It's getting a little dirty. Man, we, we'll have to wash it here soon. All right, we'll let that warm up a little bit as we check, make sure we're all connected here. Hydraulics are good, nothing's been tampered with there. Tines are still uh, good to go. Looks like the teeth are fine. Nothing's broken, nothing's loose. Tires are all good to go. All right, I think we're good to go. We've got about 44 acres to plow up here, so let's get at it. Shouldn't take uh, too long. We'll probably be done before... Oh, I don't know. We might be done before noon, probably. Shouldn't be all too bad. So today should go fairly well. Once we get this, we need to uh, cultivate it up. We need to then get the planter ready. We should be able to plant here in the next couple days, as long as the weather cooperates with us. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that, that field over there at our house that was all grass, that's been all tore up now. It's going to make a really nice field. It was previously in grass, so it has great nutrition levels on it. Uh, it's not really going to have too much issues with soil runoff or anything like that, because it is a very flat section of our, our land over there. The hills are to the south of the property, and that's where our actual hay ground is. I didn't want to till that up, just because I knew that would be uh, a bit of a pain for soil conservation and we would have got a lot of terraces and other stuff work done to it which costs a lot of money and didn't want to quite have to deal with that this field is a recent purchase of ours actually and uh, our first time working it we uh we had rented it actually for quite a while and we bought it from the person we were renting it from first season here owning the land it's a nice piece of land, nice little 44 acres or so. Uh, it's got those power poles running through it, which is a little annoying, but, you know, it's not a big deal. It's, uh, it's a nice little piece of land. Usually yields pretty well. So we'll see uh, how this goes.
right. Well, we've done uh, two headmans, and we're just cutting across the field now diagonally to try and uh, speed up our productivity here. Now, normally, you would not do this in real life. Uh, you would go with the contours of the land because you don't want the pharaohs of the... We're getting some... We're having some issues right now. Just ignore that. You wouldn't want the pharaohs to... Uh, go up and down the hill because then that causes a lot of water drainage you want to go across uh, same with planting but just for the sake of productivity because I know this is going to be cultivated right after we plow it and I don't believe it's supposed to rain we are uh, we're doing it this way it should work out just fine who's that there actually okay what's the deal here uh, our transmission's doing that thing again. It's acting up. Sensor's not too happy. Come on. Don't be like this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on. Seriously? What's your deal? It's not... We're, we're not tugging too hard back here. Transmission, like... I'm not even popping the clutch or anything. What? Come on. Nope. <laughs> nope. It won't even shift back in. All right. <sighs> Great. Shut that off. Well, let's... Let's... Crap. What are we going to do here? Let's run over to the truck and uh let's see if i have a business card someone to call here a mechanic or something i don't know why the trans we went through all of that other field over there a good good little portion of this field and it hadn't had an issue but they just decided nope no more i i don't know what the issue is i hope it's not the whole transmission but we'll see all right, let's grab that number here. It's in the glove box. Uh, no, not that one. Uh, here it is. All right, let's give it a call. Uh, good morning. This is Flat Valley Equipment, and this is Boom. How may we help you? Hey, Boom. This is uh, it's Jake. Yeah, I bought some stuff from me. I run the co-op over there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What seems? Uh, you don't. You seem down. What seems to be the problem? Oh, you know, that old 8400. You know how I said it has some transmission issues. Uh oh, she finally <laughs> crap out on you. Yeah, I was hoping to get through planting at least, but I'm down here in one of my fields just plowing and I don't know. It just decided it didn't want to go no more. I don't know what the deal is. Um, all right. Um, can you even move the thing? No, it, it, I, I put it in park because it was kind of doing this weird inch forward, inch back kind of thing. I hopped out, you know, just to see if there was like any leaks. Went to put it back in drive and it, it just wouldn't it's it's stuck i i don't know <laughs> are you at least able to get it into neutral i it'll go into neutral but it won't go into any gear hmm. well we can send out well i can probably uh, get my stuff here and have someone else take care of the desk for right now i can come down there and come pick it up we get we got a winch we can get on there all right that would be awesome if we can if we can right, see um, what's going on here, that'd be great. But, uh, yeah, definitely um, going to need... Could, all right. Uh, we could probably get you a rental. Again, depending on how bad the problem is, we can take a look at that. But, yeah, you might need to, depending on what we can do, we could probably get you a rental just for the couple for the time being while you're 400 is down. I'm not going to say that you're going to get something great, but it'll, it'll be something that could probably cover you for until we get the part replaced. Yeah, that would uh, that'd probably be... Great, cause I got, I got, I gotta get this land tilled up and. All right, so yeah, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle here, Mister. Yeah, you don't say. Um. Oh, that's gonna be fun. It's already got claws of dirt up here. Um. 
So, yeah, definitely we're going to have to see how on earth we're going to get that, in other words, pushed off. So, to get that, I, have, um, I have two running theories right now. One, we're one okay. at the top of the hill, so this thing ain't going to roll anywhere, right? Yeah. But we might be able to just disconnect this here. And I, I really don't know if we're both strong enough to like just kind of give it a push, push back or something. Actually, actually, wait. We might be able to run over to my place, get the little Kubota, and use the yeah. forks to support this here, and just kind of, you know, push it back or or pull it back or something, out of the way. Like well, I can, probably. I can. I can probably lift this thing, because the hydraulics work. I can lift it up out of the ground so we're not fighting the earth. Yeah. And we might be able to do that. I mean, it's worth a shot, because, I mean, uh, there's no other way to get... I mean, I assume you don't have a front hookup to this... I don't. 8400. I don't. I, I checked. All right. Um, yeah, that's going to be the only thing, is just how on earth we're going to get this thing off, so we right. can get the hookup to be able to play on. Right. I think that's probably going to be our best bet. I don't think um, we're going to be able to push this thing or ourselves. Um, yeah, I mean, at least you're not too far from your house. Yeah, no, it's not It's not that far. I mean, I could even just drive the Kubota over here. I could drive my truck over, get, bring the Kubota back, you know? All right, uh, let's see what we can do here. All right, so um, I, I had an idea... So, in other words, like I said, definitely uh, this sucker is not moving at all. Mm -hmm. Not not even close. But the only thing I see a problem here is with that when you're trying when you're gonna try and pick up this here hitch, you're not gonna be able to get past the beam that comes out. Like we can't even push it back far enough, so you lifting it up is not gonna do any good. It's just gonna well, stay I'm not, right. In I'm your not head. thinking about lifting it up, I'm thinking about trying to trying to give it a little tug back. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Because um, it's got to go straight back. I, it can't go up. Yeah. Um, th I thought of this. My boss is going to think I'm an absolute crazy idiot, but it, it might be the only way it works. It's going to require two people, though. We can get the pin out of the hitch here. Um, I'll have you line your forklift up on this um, frame beam right here on this little corner where it's like a space mm -hmm. and I'll take the ramp off the I'll take this back ramp on my trailer and I'll push it up against here and what we can do is we can try and see if we can push it backwards so it'll roll down the hill a little bit mm -hmm. and then we'll be able to get enough space in that we might be able to say even I don't know maybe I can get into the tractor and we can push it forwards well, with the Kubota, I mean, we could throw okay. it in neutral. It's hot. So let's let's try and run that as a second option, maybe, because I, yeah, I'd like to see if maybe we can just I can just squeeze in here and push this. Even if it turns, that's fine, because then we can just push it kind of yeah. back over out of the way, right? Yeah. So let me and try. By that time, you can hook it up to the Kubota and just drive it away. Right. So that's what yeah. I'm thinking me, about trying here. All right. Yeah, let me let me get my dodge moved here, and uh, we'll get you. We'll try your idea first. Alrighty. So that's what we're gonna try. Can't really pick it up, but we're gonna try and just kind of tilt it so we can maybe. We might be too low. Oh, this Kubota is gonna be too low to even connect it. So we'll just have to kind of work. We'll have to make this work. It'll be fine. We'll find a way. <laughs> okay. He's gonna have See to if kind you of get in this. All right, so I think I think what you might be able to do a little bit that might work a little better is see if you can't get it underneath that jack, and we'll lift it from there. And that All lift right. it, we'll push it from there. Let me get it unhooked over here quick. Yep. Get that pin out. Okay. So I'm thinking, trying to line this up. We get you out here. Um. All right. Let's see if you can't lift that up. A little bit. Up, 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 up. You got it. You got it. Slid out. You slid it out. All right. Keep pushing. Keep pushing a little bit. Okay, you're out, so you should be able to lift it if you can. Okay. No. Nope. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, she's a little heavy here. All right, let me just try. Right, um, keep it going. Keep it going. You got it. Um, you might want to re recenter now because you can. All right. Uh, see if you can't get a little further back on the tongue. Well, you know what? We we got it. Hold on. We got it off of the this here, so yeah. I think maybe I might be able to try and just kind of get right over here. 
and try and just yeah. give it a shove back. Now it is going to angle it, but then I can kind of just yeah. back and forth this just thing back up or something, you know? Well, then by that time, you could probably hook it up to your little Kubota here. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be a might, little bottom. We bottom might heavy, be too low. We'll see. Also, right. I don't know if it's the right pin size, but we, we'll, we'll check it out. All right. Um, if anything, I could probably try and grab an adapter or something out of my truck because we got those carrying sometimes that you could right. possibly use. I'm going to try and pick yeah, it up from about yeah. here. That way I can get that jack off the ground too, yet. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Maybe. Oof, oh, the thing is... she ain't liking that. Oh. Oh, it's heavy. No. All right, hold on here. Um, I think what you... Uh, see if you can't kind of have the same we can mix our two ideas together See if you can't just push this thing around like get it So your back plate right here is against that frame rail and we'll see if you can't push it back Right well, I was, I was trying not to drag that jack on the ground there Ah, But it should be all right yeah, It's 1970s. It's 1980s great. It can hold it's yeah. made of America. Buddy. Jacks are replaceable. Whoa. It's going to be a lot cheaper than having to replace half this stuff on here and then that transmission. Yeah. All right. I'll see if I can't help you out here a little bit by maybe even... Well, not really. If you had no. wheels on it, it'd be a little bit easier for that jack. Right, let's see here. Oh, we're making oh, some oh, progress. Oh, Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ooh, we're about to dig some ruts. There we go. Oh, oh, oh there we go. All right, oh. I think you might have enough room now to get your Kubota's hitch in there. Maybe. Let's see how that lines up, though. All right, um, you look like you might be able to fit the top half in with the bottom, so it might not be too low, but yeah, your pin size might not be right. Up. Oh. Uh, yeah, you'd be sitting a little low, but... Sitting a little low? I think it might be able to be able to just pull it out, though. Oh, look at up, that! Up. That's gonna so work. So, let's see here. All right. Yep, uh, wanna... let's see here. Try dropping that Let pin in. Um... I'd say, yeah, let's try it. Um, let me pull it up a little bit. All right. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and stop. Up. Oh. Whoa. Back it up. The furrow. The furrow took me. Stop. Stop. God dang. Right, start over just a tiny bit. Yeah. Nice and easy tractor. Keep Pop. going, keep going, Trying keep going, Trying to fight the going. clutch here. All right. Uh, keep going just a little bit more, just a tiny bit more. And you're good. Stop. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Here comes the pin and drop. Oof. Oh, that's geez, heavy, but low. we got it. All right. See if you can't fold those wings up so we can't get that out of there. And I'll uh, get the dots right. lined up. Okay. Well, we got the hydraulic power. That's fine. <laughs> see if I can't pull this thing on out of here. Oh, yeah. It's not in the ground. It's just pulling, pulling a hunk of metal. Ooh, we're not gonna hit that, are we? Let's just back it up. There we go. Perfect. Let's get this all the way over here out of the way. That should be fine. Alright, let's see what he thinks here. Um, What'd you think? Um, good, but I think I just lost the hook. You lost your hook. What do you mean you lost your hook? We went out there all this and you lose your hook? Oh, um, let's work. What? You yeah, lose it in the dirt? Through the ground. You lose it through yeah. the dirt? Yes. <laughs> ah, dang it. Oh, well, we gotta look for it. Hold on. Oh, uh, I got a spare I got a spare one. I got a spare one up at the shop. I'm gonna go grab that. <laughs> I'm gonna look around for this one. I'll I'll see if I can find it. <laughs> of course, lost the hook. I can't believe it. <laughs> when you when you said you lost it in the dirt, I was like, oh, of course you did. <laughs> of course you lost it in the dirt. I didn't. 
<laughs> okay, out of context. You know what this face we think of? What? Step three. Remove string from bag, releasing the winds. Check. Well, that seems simple enough. They have a hook? I, I, I couldn't find the one that fell in the dirt. I, I looked everywhere. I don't know where it went. Yeah, it... I'm sitting this air on the rail here, quick. Keep an eye on it. It's still there, there right? Yep. So let's get this here. Um... All right, I'll hook it up here. All right. Success. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, I'll get, nice. I'll get here. So let me just get here and dodge quick. I'll get that pulled around and we'll get it hooked up. Awesome. Making progress. Thank God. That's all I want to hear. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Hang on. Forgot to raise the hitch. Nice. There that's a go. little better. I was like, that's riding a little low. All right, let's get this here. Um, Trying to back her up this? parallel or level or like, yeah, parallel. Yeah, it's on <laughs> level. Yeah, Loves that ain't like going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Let me just kind of, let me, uh, just a second. No, you take your time. It's not like the tractor's going anywhere. <laughs> it's not like we have any time to lose a hook. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll run over it and pop a tire, and we'll be like, ah, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Get the spare. Wait, oh, we don't have one. What spare? Uh, all right, we on? I mean, I, 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 yeah, yeah, yes and no. It'll, 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 it'll do. even itself out. It'll do. Oh, we're in neutral, right? Let me just double check. Yep. It's in neutral, so it should roll. All right, so I got the rope here. Let me just kind of get it down here. All right, so let's get here. Just a little bugger. And uh, got it. All right. Perfect. So just uh, stand back just in case. All right, come on, you. All right. All right. Ooh, is All that right. gonna clear? Oof. Should oh barely. Well, it's. Boy, we can lift them. We can get it. It'll scrape. It'll be fine. Once we get it on the flat part, make sure it's staying. Uh, make sure it's in line. Get on this yep, side. Get it on. Yep. Uh, speed it up a little bit. Once it gets on there, all the way. All right, we can speed it up a little. There we go. Perfect. We go. Hop up in there and set that parking brake. All right, that's set. All right, get the ramps up. Save quick. All right, well, I'm going to head out in the Kubota. Um, I'll meet you up at the dealer. Um, sign here on the bottom. And then two initials, one on the front page and the one on the back side, and you should be good. All righty. And, could... and do you want the first day's payment up front then, or...? No, um, we can just, we can get all that right. We can get all that when you're done with it. Alrighty. But because we know our our main goal is to help get you back to what you need to be doing. So don't worry about that stuff right now. Just get that thing back to your field, and we'll take care of all the rest of that later once this is all done. All right. Well, I I appreciate it. Give me a call whenever you have a timeline or know what's going on all more right. about that 8400, and I'll probably uh, I need to get back to work. So. Yeah. All right, we'll see. Um, we'll get that. We'll get the. Uh, we'll get your tractor looked at in the uh, wherever it was. I'm getting messages out the wall. Zoom my phone over here. So yeah, <laughs> you get all that figured out. Um, don't be. Uh, we'll we'll let you know definitely what's kind of going on with the situation here. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, oh my god, like my phone's going crazy. I'm not even <laughs> joking. I'm getting like 20 Discord messages. I don't even know who it is. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, get your international going here. Uh, enjoy the ride while you get it. Uh, and we'll call you back once we get this thing in the shop and looked at. Alrighty, appreciate it. Yep. All right, check. Fire this thing up and get it down to the field. We got work to do. All right, we're pulling back in the field here. Let's get hooked up to that chisel plow and get back to work. We uh, lost what an hour. I think we lost a uh, hour or more out of this whole ordeal, ordeal. Which, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that bad. 
But let's get this thing hooked up and get back to work. Nice and easy. All right. Let's unfold it, drop her down, and continue plowing. Almost finished with half of this field here. Got that little sliver right down there that we weren't able to get. So we're going to turn around and get that little sliver. Then it's uh, coming up on noon, so we're probably going to run back to the house, uh, get in the truck, see if uh, the wife is home and she wants to go out and get something to eat or not. If she's not home, she's at work or something, I don't really know. I don't keep up on her schedule. I probably should. Uh, but either way, we're going to finish up this half of the field here, run back to the farm, get in the truck, and uh, run into town, grab something to eat real fast, and then we'll be back out here working the field again later today. But that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of uh, Farming Sim 19. And until next time, I will see you guys later.